This video is going to walk you through how to do the conservation of mass lab with baking soda and vinegar on the off chance that you missed it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our scale is displaying all zeros. If it wasn't, we would press the zero button to make sure it does. Then we're going to get the mass of our empty flask here and we'll record it in our data table. Now we're going to measure approximately 15 milliliters of vinegar into the graduated cylinder. Now you do need to make some observations about what our reactants, so our starting materials, look like. So go ahead and pause for a moment and write down an observation about the vinegar in this cylinder. Now we went a little over here. Each graduation on this cylinder is worth one milliliter because our major graduations are 10 and 20 and there's 10 lines in between. So here we've used approximately just over 17 milliliters of vinegar which is okay, we're in the right ballpark for this lab. So I'm going to remove my flask from the scale and add my vinegar to my cylinder. Sorry, i add it to the flask. I want to transfer all of that and now we're good to go. So our new, sorry, next step is to record the mass of the vinegar and the flask, you'll notice that our scale is not displaying zeros right now. So I'm going to press the zero button. And now we can record that. So take a moment to record that data. Now we're going to move on to the baking soda. So give me one second to set that up. All right, for the baking soda part, we're going to need the weigh boat, our baking soda, a balloon, and a funnel. So to start, we're going to place our weigh boat on the scale and zero that. Now we're going to carefully weigh out approximately two and a half grams of baking soda. And I'll show you the baking soda real quick in a second so you can make observations about that. Okay, so we don't want to go over two and a half grams. There we go, that's close enough, 2.54. So before we move on to our next step, let's get a close look at that baking soda. All right, so our baking soda is a solid, as you'll notice, it's white and it is very Fine. So a very fine powder. Now we need to transfer our baking soda into our balloon. So I'm going to take my balloon. Oh, sorry, I missed a step. We need to get the mass of the balloon. So we're going to remove our baking soda, re zero the balance. and place our empty balloon on there and record the mass. Now we're going to transfer it. I 
And to do that, I'm going to slip my balloon over the end of this funnel without tearing it. I'm going to take my weigh boat, hold it like a taco, and carefully transfer my solid. Now, we might have lost some of it, which is why we are going to remass it with our balloon and baking soda. And then record the mass. Now we need to get ready to run the reaction. All right, so we have our vinegar again. Now, just to make sure, we're going to take the mass of our reactants and their containers carefully here. And we'll record that. And now we're good to go. So we're going to take our containers off of the balance. I'm going to make sure that all of my baking soda is down in the balloon and carefully stretch that over the mouth of the flask. Then we're going to cause the reaction to occur on the balance. So we're going to pick it up, place it on there, and we're going to pick up the balloon so that we can get the reaction to happen. And then we'll record the mass right as it goes. So make sure you're writing down any observations for what you see happening. So we'll give the reaction a second to run, and then we'll write down the mass once it looks like it's finished. All right, so in this case, our mass is going to be 116.96 grams. You'll use these values to answer the questions on the data sheet that you can find in Google Classroom. All right, so now that the reaction's done, we're going to remove it from the balance. And we're going to observe what's left in the container through the edge here. So we got some gas to form, and we can see a little bit of the reaction is still happening. If we give that a swirl, we can see that we're left with a little bit of solid in the end. So that solid is unreacted baking soda.